we put out a call to um, ask people to tell their stories about motor neuron disease and at that time Gordon approached us and said that he had written an article um, and he asked us to read it through. Um, this was a powerful article um, telling of his diagnosis, he had only just recently been diagnosed. I became aware of that when I read it in the Sunday paper when he decided to go public on that and I just remember sitting there that Sunday morning you know, it was in the height of the referendum campaign, reading this, you know, heart-wrenching uh, article by a young man who had been given this devastating diagnosis, and yet what shone out of that was bravery and determination, guts, and an absolute conviction that he could use his circumstances to make life better for other people, and I just... I remember sitting there actually, I think I was in tears reading that as I'm sure many people were that morning and because it was during the referendum campaign and he was somebody on the other side to me, I think it was a, a very powerful reminder at a very opportune moment of the fact that our bonds of humanity are much more powerful and much stronger than any political divisions between us. His diagnosis hit him hard, there's no, you know, there's no doubt about that and, and it's hit everyone hard, um, everyone who cares about him. Um, but his his determination and drive and ability to get across the realities of, of the disease, just how horrible it is, but also the hope behind um, what he's trying to achieve is absolutely incredible. And um, we always knew that this is what Gordon's like. This is what God, Gordon's a great communicator and he's he's great at campaigning. Um, but to do it in the face of such a horrible diagnosis, an earth-shattering diagnosis that, that would knock most people for six, and for him to do that is absolutely incredible. He's made a huge difference um, because of his um, commitment and courage to speak out about how it affects him. And because he was a relatively young person, he was diagnosed when he was 29, the average age of somebody diagnosed with motor neuron disease is 64. Um, so it has a large impact on people. But also because of his background, because of the, the political um, side of things that he has, um, he's opened up a, um, various doors for us uh, and meant that we can actually make an impact on the political scene and make changes through policy um, for people with MND. It was later on, after Gordon, won an award at the Scottish Politician of the Year uh, that and he made a, a really powerful speech then and appealed directly to me, I, I was just a day into being First Minister then and appealed to me to use my influence and position to change things and I made a promise to him that I would meet him which I did the week after and I made a promise that we would try to do the things that he was seeking to persuade us to do and I'm proud and I hope he would agree that we've made real progress since then, you know, f doubling the number of MND nurses, making sure they're publicly funded. Just as an example, I did an event with them a few weeks ago on voice recognition, which we're keen to push forward on as well. And all of that is down to his perseverance and determination. And I just think he's an inspiration. There's, you know, that word can sometimes be overused, but it's absolutely fitting when we're talking about Gordon. The awareness that he has raised um, has been huge and from that, uh, that's then taken, um, had an impact on all the activities that we do. Um, we had a, a fundraiser down at number 10 Downing Street um, and the money that's raised through all of that um, is going towards research uh, and Gordon's very keen on, on ensuring that um, there is research that is done in, uh, into MND and the, the more research we can get done, the quicker we hope we can find a cure to this disease. I think if anyone would have done what Gordon's managed to do, it would be incredible. But for Gordon to do that while facing a disease that is going to cut his life so short, um, that's going to, um, that could lead to him losing his ability to eat, speak, um, breathe um, and walk in the face of all of these massive obstacles to do that it, it's not just inspirational it's absolutely incredible.